acids. Acids are known as proton donors and this is because they release a hydrogen ion or more accurately a hydronium ion in aqueous solutions. We'll take an example here. We have the acetate, uh, acetic acid which ionizes to produce a hydrogen ion and an acetate anion. Now you can see that the hydrogen ion is a part of the hydrogen here. So the hydrogen here disintegrates and moves away from the acetate anion and they separate. This is called ionization. Why a hydrogen ion is called a proton is because a hydrogen ion is a hydrogen atom that has lost an electron. Since a hydrogen atom only has a proton and an electron, when it loses that proton, it only has a proton. That's why it's called a proton. But to be more correct, this is what really happens. The acetic acid reacts with the water and we, in this reaction, it ionizes. And that is when it produces a hydronium ion and the acetate anion. These two are practically the same thing, but here we have specifically mentioned the water. And because we have mentioned the water, we have to add a hydronium ion instead of a hydrogen ion. The forward reaction shows acetic acid, also known as ethanoic acid, acting as an acid by releasing the hydrogen anion. Bases in aqueous solutions are proton acceptors. Now while acids are proton donors, bases are proton acceptors. We'll take an example here. Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide ionizes to form hydroxide ions. So this is the uh, equation where sodium hydroxide would ionize to form Na plus and OH minus. Now these hydroxide ions would go and it will attract hydrogen ions and these two would uh, form water. Now you can see that they accept the proton, that's why they're called proton acceptors. Now we're looking at um, ionization of acids, we'll take a sample Example here, HA. HA reacts with water. This reaction will lead to the ionization of um, HA, which would produce a hydronium ion and A minus, where HA is the acid being ionized and it produces hydronium ion and a negative ion, which is A minus in this case. The equilibrium constant K KC for this reaction. We work the equilibrium constant out by seeing the uh, relationship between the products and the reactants. So for this um, example, the expression would look like this. This is when the concentration of the hydronium ions times the concentration of the A- ions are divided by the concentration of water and the concentration of HA. Now as you can see, these are the products. And these are the reactants here. So it is a so here's products over reactants is a K value. Now you probably haven't seen these before, but what these square brackets mean is a concentration. So for example, the hydronium ion concentration can be denoted using this symbol. And this would come recurrently in our HSC topic and you will be able to um, work out the concentration and read it this way. Moving on, this constant shows a relationship between the concentrations of the reactants and the products. So it is drawing up a relation be relationship between the ionized particles and the ones that are going to be ionized in an equilibrium according to Le Chatelier's principle. The acid ionization constant Ka, it denotes the ability of an acid to be ionized and this will define what an acid ionization constant is. The stronger the acid, the higher the so, uh, hydronium ion concentration is at an equilibrium and the larger the Ka value is. 
So as the Ka value increases, we know that it is a stronger acid because there are more hydronium ions. Now the smaller the Ka value, the lower the amount of ionization of Ha, which is the acid we took as an example. So acidic uh, solutions such as acetic acid and hydrochloric acid, they produce more hydro hydrogen ions in aqueous solution. So their hydrogen ion concentration is going to be greater than their hydro hydroxide ion concentration, as you can see here. Now we'll take a look at some weak acids. You would be a you would be asked to identify these as weak acids in your HSC, so you should know these. You should be familiar with these and their formulas. Now we have sulfurous acid, which has a formula of H2SO3, and we have the Ka value here. And these Ka values can be worked out.